Hi there, YouTubians. CJ Holmes here. I want to show you my latest uh, workbench project. It's the Visible Airplane Engine. This is the uh, Ravel 1982 reissue of the original Renwall 1962 model kit. Here's a uh, picture of the box art. Hey, Dad, let's build this model together. It's great. And I know I'd only mess it up by myself if Dad didn't come help me. We're all familiar with the uh, incredibly successful, iconic, <clears throat> still in production, visible V8 engine. Both model kits are one quarter scale and the uh, visible airplane engine just towers over the visible V8. Just a magnificent model. Now, as I said, this is the 1982 Ravel reissue. Ravel very briefly uh, put a limited run of these engines out in their History Makers series, and then we never saw them again. I don't know if the modes still exist, if uh, there are any plans on uh, creating the model again. It would be awesome if they did. But uh, so far, uh, in the year 2020, uh, we still haven't seen any reissues of this magnificent model. The Ravel reissue was not motorized like the Renwall original. The motor, the reduction gearing that uh, would have been inside this starter housing are missing from the Ravel kit. Uh, the gear that drives the motor is also missing from the Ravel kit. Apparently the idea was simply to use the propeller uh, to spin the uh, model and make the cylinders or the pistons move in the cylinders and the push rods go up and down and all that. I don't think that ever worked very well because uh, the propeller has a clutch mechanism to prevent anything from breaking if the uh, propeller is stopped like I do. So um, there's some little gears I wouldn't say gears, they're like teeth on one of the gears that are supposed to engage so that you can use the prop to turn the engine, but it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull that propeller off and show you one cool thing about it, that uh, you can change the pitch of the propeller. But there you go. When I purchased this model on eBay a few weeks ago, it had been assembled. It was missing some parts. It was missing um, uh, rocker housing. It was missing a rocker, uh, the rocker uh, cover. And so I cast uh, one of the other existing uh, parts in resin. I tried to get it clear, but it didn't come out. Just too many bubbles, so it looks milky white. Anyway, it does hold the rocker, and it, you know, it does work. The uh, model was assembled neatly, competently, however, um, it was all glued together as if the owner uh, didn't want it to be taken apart. <clears throat> the oil sump was glued to the, um, the crankcase, not supposed to be, it's just a slip fit. The uh, spark plug cable ring was glued to the housing um, the cylinder heads were glued to the cylinders so I had to break all that stuff apart even the intake pipes were all glued on so it was made to stay and I didn't want it that way I had to take it apart anyway in order to do repairs and modifications to it uh, there was no motor in the Ravel reissue there was also no element of electronics. There were no spark plugs. Uh, none of the little grain of wheat lights were in the original kit. Uh, none of the gearing uh, to... Um, I don't know, I take that back. There was, there was no gearing for the motor. The good thing is that the rotor and the drive gear were included in the kit. Just no electronic parts, no electrical parts. Uh, the battery housing, uh, the switches were simply glued on 
there was no uh, no contacts or anything. So what I had to do was install some uh, of my own light bulbs, and I took the rivets and the little eyelet that drive the visible V8 distributor and incorporated that in the uh, engine kit. So all these little rivets came from a visible V8. Happily, I had a ninth one uh, that was uh, hanging around. The central long rivet I also pulled from a visible V8 and got the uh, magneto working for the most part. It's really temperamental. Um, most of the time, not all of the cylinders fire. Oh, another interesting thing. The original Renwall kit, although it did have operating spark plugs, only was wired for the spark plugs in the rear. The real WASP engine has double spark plugs per cylinder, dual magnetos for reliability, but uh, Renwall didn't uh, wire up the front spark plugs. So technically the engine should have 18 spark plugs. The Renwall came out with only nine. The Ravel issue came out with none. So I went ahead and I uh, created a ground ring, not a ground wing, but a common ring for one lead of the spark plug wires in the front. And then also put spark plugs in the back and it's a rat's nest there in the back, but nah, I don't care. These wires here are just for appearance. This magneto hasn't got anything inside of it. I also purchased a gear reduction motor, 12 volt, 30 RPM gear reduction motor, created a mounting plate for it and glued that to the carburetor. Uh, I had a, a drive shaft that I made out of an X-Acto knife handle that goes uh, from the gear reduction motor to the uh, the crank. And so it runs. I can turn off the spark plugs if I want. Turn on the ignition. So there you have it. This is the clutch uh, mechanism for the propeller. It's spring-loaded to give it some pressure. And that's it. I uh, hope you found it interesting. The 1982 Ravel reissue of the 1962 Renwall visible airplane engine. Have a nice day.